the Robison family lives on a quiet street in Murray, Utah. One evening early in December, the children were enjoying the holiday spirit, playing the piano, reading Christmas stories. We give presents because it is Jesus' birthday. And Nora asked her brother Collier what he wanted most for Christmas. He thought for a moment, and then he told her of the tin music box he had seen at the toy store on the corner. It was beautiful blue, his favorite color, and it played Silent Night. That is what he wanted most of all for Christmas. Well, Christmas Eve finally came after much waiting. Each of the children hung their stocking in hopes that it would be filled in the morning. Once they were done, Audrey ran out to play with the neighbor before it was time to go to bed. Nora and Collier and little Eli played together for a while, but soon it was time for the youngest children to go to bed. After the boys were asleep, Nora pulled out her bank to see how much money was inside. She found one dime, and with that she hurried down the street to the corner toy store. Once she got there, she asked the storekeeper, What can I buy for ten cents for my brother for Christmas? The storekeeper looked around. Well, I have these candies in the shiny red paper. Would you like one of those? Nora was a bit disappointed because she had wanted the tin music box. But it cost a dollar. So she settled for the candy and the shiny red paper. She brought it home and placed it in Collier's stocking and headed off to bed herself. Before too long, Audrey finally came home from playing with the neighbors. She was tired and hungry, and she decided to check on the stockings. When she got to Collier's, she felt something. She reached inside, and without thinking, she popped the candy right into her mouth. Then she realized that she had just eaten Collier's Christmas surprise. She felt awful. She went and got her own bank to see how much money she had inside. She found one dollar. She hurried down the street to the toy store, hoping that it hadn't closed yet. When she got there, she asked the storekeeper, what can I buy for my brother for Christmas for a dollar? The storekeeper looked around. Well, I've been mostly bought out, but I do have this tin music box. It costs a dollar. Audrey said, I'll take it, and she hurried home with her treasure. Once she got home, she put the music box in her brother's stocking and hurried off to bed. Sleep came slowly for all. It's what happens when they're waiting for Santa Claus. But morning came. The children ran downstairs. And they found their stockings filled with treats. Collier was delighted to see the tin music box. Oh, it played a beautiful song. And he was so delighted. Nora watched very curiously. She couldn't understand how her gift, her little candy in the red shiny wrapper, had turned into this music box. <laughs>